Hello and welcome to my unboxing and review of the Legiones Astartes Riser Pattern Laz Cannon set. They're right here in this uh, box and they will cost you £16.50. Uh, they're resin pieces and it includes five resin riser pattern las cannons with the five backpacks uh, fitted with fuel cells and five power cables which should be gently heated and bent to fit um, you know depending on the pose and things you're going for um, riser deimos mars telerac they're all forge welds um, that pump out you know different types or different variants of the same type of weapon um, but this is the riser pattern uh, would have been nice to have a riser pattern plasmas as well but they, they've opted for the mars um, let's unbox this super why 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 have you gone and spent 15 pound you know almost as much as the 22 pound or whatever you know heavy upgrade set um, that you can get from games workshop in plastic why have you done that for these well, there's a few reasons, really. Um, one, I'm very dubious of uh, these being able to be compatible with the Mark Sixes because the plastic um, weapons uh, are very compatible with, um, you know, like each plasma gun is specifically compatible to a set of, to one set of arms uh, for the Mark Six set, and. I think I'm going to have some difficulty if I wanted to apply these because the different arms have different weapons and the reason being because both hands are modelled onto the weapons so what that means is um, unlike the Mark IVs and the Mark III's where the hand is just held like this and you can just slot any weapon in it's going to be a bit more trickier to get that wrist joint to line up um, and likewise on the other side because of the, the pose of the arms as well um, so that's the main reason uh, and then Another reason is I'm not a massive fan over, of the over-arm um, plasma cannon, missile launcher, and las cannon. Uh, I actually really like the look of these underslung las cannons. It's very rare that we'll see them. Uh, and I think these will go tremendously well with my uh, Mark III. And, uh, if these, and if these do look great, um, I may well incorporate some into the word bearers force. Um, so these are all the, <laughs> this has come off the gate. So these are all the uh, parts that you get. Um, I think it's safe to say you'll get what, 15 parts. So these are the, this is a, so this is the cabling, standard Laz Cannon cabling, um, big fiber bundles. Uh, it's quite stiff. Don't try and bend it um, when it's kind of room temperature. Uh, best advice. Um, I can give is find a hairdryer um, you know if if you can put it on the highest heat setting and bend you know clearly the part away from your fingers um, and heat the part clearly the, and heat an area clearly you know away from your fingers um, and then work on that part and then once that's set you can work on the other side as well um, likewise you could get your oven mitts and hold a piece with the oven mitt it shouldn't take any more than I'd say five to ten seconds um, to get the desired floppage um, so that you can uh, manipulate these these fiber bundles and um, but you are going to need to do that so whether you use hot water or a hairdryer it's up to you um, but you're gonna need to do that so in order to uh, run these cables from the heavy weapon itself to the uh, power pack or the ammunition pack um, these are the las cannons then uh, a couple of these have come off of the gate, which is fine. Uh, they look very similar. These ones do at least. Uh, that's not broken, that's just come off the, the gate. Um, again, that is a bit wonky. I'm gonna have to bend that, and it's <laughs> just thinking it's gonna be an absolute pain to put a knife in there to get that gap uh, a bit more visible. Um, and in there as well, I guess. But other than that and the bend, you know, this is what you, that one looks quite straight, but there's three Laz cannons, you know, underslung. Here are another two. That one's a bit floppy, so that one needs a bit, bit more of a bend upwards. And then here are the ammunition 
uh, backpacks, power plants. These are the ammunition power, power packs as well. Um, interesting, it's almost like that thing there is the charge uh, for the last cannon because you see this ammunition and the solid state um, piece uh, on a lot of the other uh, last cannons as well or nearby. Um, it's not so much that the last cannons run out of ammunition, uh, you know, they've mastered that, they've mastered firing, you know, high strength beam last cannons. They've, they've, they've already mastered uh, firing high strength laser beams. The issue is the barrels themselves either overheating or warping. They can only fire a certain number of shots as is the, you know, energies involved in these. The, the, energy, the energies and the heat um, when firing these things um, will, <laughs> ironically, because they're already bent, um, you know, bend and wear out the, the last cannon barrels themselves or fuse them. Um, so it's not so much the ammunition, it is the, uh, the mileage on the um, weapons themselves. So that's a little insight into these uh, riser pattern LAS cannons. Uh, as with all the upgrade sets and things, I like to incorporate uh, both the unboxing and review in the same video. So um, join me in part two where I will review these LAS cannons. They'll all be complete and built on uh, Space Marines and uh, I'll also read, it, read out uh, the rules for a last cannon in case you, you weren't already aware. Um, so join me in part two. Okay, and here we have the uh, riser pattern las cannon set, all built um, on Mark III armor, uh, Dark Angels, Space Marines, and I've used the Dark Angels um, helmets and heads, as well as some of the uh, shoulder pauldrons. So first thing we'll do is we'll just have a look at these um, uh, minis up close. So underslung las cannons, we'll do some uh, size comparisons a bit later on with the over-the-shoulder plastic um, versions um, from Games Workshop. Uh, but I think they look pretty good. And um, build-wise, a bit tricky getting that long sort of cable manipulated because when you first get these, the cables are completely straight. So you need to um, glue them at one end and then manipulate them with a hairdryer or heat gun. I, I always use a hairdryer for all of mine, so I'd recommend that and it works great. Uh, and then glue the uh, the tip. Um, I've got them kind of walking forward or just bracing or holding the um, last cannons. Absolutely fine poses. This one. I'd say these are harder uh, to get the pose right compared to the plasma and the volkite. Yeah, you can see some Dark Angels uh, shoulder pauldrons. Maybe it's a waste putting them on heavy support unit rather than like an elite unit or close combat, but um, this is the, uh, the look I... I was going to go for and then we've got this sergeant I think you know without the helmet of course of course you know so yeah the arms work well uh, these are obviously compatible with mark 3 mark 4 I'm not sure about mark 6 though and mark 6 do have their own uh, unique plastic um, set for their heavy support weapons of which I'll just show you now so this is a, an Emperor's Children plastic uh, Volkite mark 6 um, just gives you an idea of what they look like compared to that. And then we've got an Empress Children last cannon um, over the shoulder. Uh, I actually do prefer the over the shoulder last cannons. I know that's a bit odd, um, but I think some weapons work better than others over the shoulder as opposed to underarm. I think Volkites definitely work better underarm, so do heavy flamers and multi melters. But um, over the shoulder, I'd say uh, last cannons. I will have some Dark Angels um, over the shoulder last cannon uh, marines as well because I also have some Mark VI, uh, you know, in, in interrupters. Uh, compared to the uh, plasma cannons, I do prefer the plasma cannons over the last cannons for looks wise. And I definitely prefer the uh, Volkite, which I will be picking up at some point. Um, you can go, you know, to the next level uh, with your with your Las Cannon um, force, and you can pick a uh, well uh, anti tank force, I should say. You can pick a Sakar and Venator right here that has the Las Cannons um, that look very similar uh, to these with the uh, neutron um, beam laser. You could go one step further than that though um, and you could go for a uh, 
Cerberus uh, with the heavy neutron beam with a heavy neutron battery uh, or you could just um, mix it up and go for a kind of mortise pattern um, contempt of dreadnought with the dual las cannon so you can really you know uh, go for an all out, all out las cannon army yeah, if you wished so just a couple of size comparisons with some 40k units um, right here you just got the typical space marine similar size sometimes mark three look the same sometimes they look a bit bigger um, primaris is obviously going to be way taller like considerably taller and then slime marbo is probably up to the gorget maybe maybe the chest gorget so there you go hope those size comparisons have helped and um, they are you know typical mark three sized armored um Space Marines. Okay, this is my part of the review where I will just go through all of the rules uh, for the riser pattern as can and set. Um, don't be confused the fact that it says riser or Mars, it's just the planet that the weapons are kind of designed and, and, and built on. Um, they are las cannons at the end of the day. Uh, they work just the same as the Mars pattern las, las cannons. There's no sort of difference. So of course uh, the main place you will find these is in your Legion heavy support which unsurprisingly is in the heavy support section. Uh, the, a unit of five of these will cost you 100 points. Their movement of seven inches, weapon skill, ballistic seal, strength and toughness are all four. One wound, initiative four, one attack, leadership seven and a save of three plus. The sergeant is the same but has two attacks and a leadership of eight. They're typically equipped with heavy bolters, bolt pistol, frag grenades, crack grenades and power armor. And their special rules, Legionis Astartes. And you can take a rhino as a dedicated transport and doesn't which doesn't take an additional force organization slot uh, but its points cost must be paid as part of the army uh, you can include an up to an additional five legionaries um, at 15 points each so you can get 10 uh, for 160 points you can take a legion vexilla for 10 points and looks an augury scanner for 10 a nuncio vox for 10 um, and all models in the unit may exchange their heavy bolters for one of the following and they all must take the same option very important that not like your devastators of 41st millennium where they can just pick and choose um, the heavy flamers are free auto cannons are five points missile launchers are five multi melters are ten plasma cannons are ten volkai culverins are five and las cannons are ten and the sergeant may take artificer armor for ten points so i've gone for one of the most expensive um choices there uh, with the las cannons um, so that unit would cost me 150 points if i was to to field it what you're getting with those points though is yes you're only getting 10 space marines but you are getting one of the most powerful weapons you know man portable weapons out there in the well 31st millennium and the 40 um, first millennium really uh, and that is the las cannon it's like a sniper laser cannon weapon um it's absolutely fantastic at taking out heavily armoured units, dreadnoughts, tanks, even other space marines and terminators. It's a whopping 48 inch range. It's always been that range from as far back as I can remember. It's always been one of my favourite weapons. It's a strength 9, it's AP 2, it's heavy 1 and it has the rule Sunder. Uh, the rule Sunder um, attacks with the special rule may re-roll failed armed penetration rolls against vehicles and buildings. Um, and re-roll glancing hits in an attempt to get a penetrating hit but the second result must be kept um, so that's pretty good you know they are dedicated kind of anti-tank anti-vehicle um, uh, weapons so you're going to be able to re-roll those penetrating hits because of that's under rule and that's a, a new rule that hasn't really been around in, in 40k so um, just bear that in mind it's, it's often overlooked but it could make a massive difference and um, you know if you're only getting glancing hits because of like a Spartan's flare shield or Cerberus flare shield something like that and um, you know you can re-roll those uh, AP shots uh, against you know vehicles or units that um, reduce the the strength of the weapon uh, meaning that there's potential of getting more glancing hits you can re-roll those with these um, which is fantastic which plasma cannons had kind of like a special rule as well plasma cannons obviously get their breaching rule and the debuff of uh, gets hot. Uh, that's it for the last cannon set. Uh, I think it's a great set. Looks good. But what do you guys prefer? Do you prefer the underslung last cannons or the over the shoulder? I'd be interested to to read your comments uh, below. Thank you for joining me today. Thank you for watching. The Emperor protects.